you can be a conservative and talk about taxes. We agree with the fact that infrastructure spending uh, is necessary and vital to the state. And uh, we also know that the current revenues that pay for infrastructure have not increased in over 25 years. Uh, and yet the cost of maintaining and building roads has increased. But we're saying if you're gonna be a conservative, there's a better way to build that mousetrap. The current gas tax, the one we already pay, pays into the Alabama Road and Bridge Fund. But then every year, $63 million plus or minus comes out of that and goes to pay for the court system and for ALEA. Now, I don't think for a second that they should not have their appropriations. They need it. But I believe that we're in a position right now where that shouldn't be happening. And, and you can give them their own standalone appropriations. But then, you know, truth be told, if you're gonna tell the citizens of this state, we need more money for roads and bridges, well then stop spending what we do have on non-roads and bridges. Alabama is actually one of only 12 states in the nation that even taxes groceries at all. And of that, we're only one of seven that taxes it at the highest possible rate. Mm -hmm. So that being said, here we are, it's one of the most regressive taxes out there. It taxes the poorest among us because everybody has to eat. And, and here we are taxing the poorest citizens in the state grocery money while we're one of only a few states that does it, and yet we are one of the poorest states in the nation per capita in terms of income. I mean, if you're going to say you're a conservative, if you're going to say you're a limited government uh, elected official, then you have to be able to show your constituency and the broader base of voters and consumers in the state that you gave it your every last option on the table discussion before you ever raise a tax. I'll be honest with you, sitting here today, as you and I are talking, um, I think if they bring a straight tax bill to the floor, no reforms, no offsets, it's gonna fail. But I do believe if they will couple it with reforms, couple it with perhaps an offset, um, even a potential partial offset, I think that they will wind up uh, being able to curry favor with the most conservative members of the House and the Senate and, and, and get something done.